And with that, uh, I will turn it over to Ere, and I see that Kate has um, made an offer to do a lightning talk about accessibility. So we will add her as number three. Hello, everyone. I'm Ere Maila from the National Library of Finland. Been working on WooFind since forever. Well, not, not as long as Damien has, so not forever. So a quick uh, session about a uh, uh, little thing that I've been working on on just in the past few days, days with WooFind. And that's a uh, hierarchy of facets and everything that's uh, difficult with them and uh, trying to make things easier for us. Uh, WooFind has supported hierarchical facets since 2014, almost nine years ago. I wrote the initial support using JS3, and uh, and there were good reasons for this. One, that uh, it was already being used in WooFind, and I was thinking that uh, we could do all kinds of uh, fancy dynamic loading things with JS3 and, and everything like that. So the facet data was loaded uh, from the server via an AJAX call. And uh, this meant that there were two different routes uh, being used depending on whether the normal uh, side facets module was used uh, or the deferred side facets module was used. And uh, it made it a little bit complicated. But it has also... Uh, it has the, this current implementation has some issues that are causing trouble. Well, almost all the time, uh, making the hierarchy of facets uh, resemble normal normal facets in the JS tree is kind of complicated. Uh, these two different rendering paths, one for normal facets and the other other one for the hierarchical facets, uh, has led to some discrepancies with, between them quite a few times. And there are some accessibility issues. Even for example, during the last round of repairs or fixes or improvements, I managed to break the keyboard access quite completely. And of course, Chase 3 does a lot that we don't need. And also some things that we need to work around trying to avoid. So there is some complication in, in that, that aspect as well. So the solution, turning uh, away from JS3, uh, trying to manage uh, ditching something that you yourself came up with, uh, but later on found that it's not as good as you want it to be as a solution for this one. And, I, and here, I'm not saying that JS3 is not good. It's, it's perfect for some things, but it's uh, still a lot of things. So let's go with the simple HTML nested lists. Use the same template for rendering the facets, facet items as the normal facets do. Uh, add just a tiny bit of JavaScript to toggle an attribute of button so that we can use CSS to expand or collapse the facets or the le facet levels based on the, that attribute. And clean up all of the old HX handlers and the special cases that had to be built in. And the result is that there is much less code to maintain. It's a uh, it's much simple uh, way of loading of the facet data, there is only one way of doing it. And all of, all of the facet data can be loaded in in one one re request. So there is less Ajax calls, there is less solar requests, there is less code. And suddenly I get a piece of software that just, just crashed. Okay, let's continue. Uh, also, Perhaps at some point, one less jQuery based library needed in WooFind. Uh, but that's still uh, a little bit further away because uh, we still have other parts that are using this, this library. So there is an open pull request, uh, but 
there hasn't been any reviews yet. Uh, I just finished the latest version this uh, afternoon, local time, and uh, and this is already the second iteration already. So things may change. I did the original implementation uh, based on an idea of using summary and details uh, tags, but during yesterday's uh, quite excellent uh, accessibility session, I tested it with a couple of different browsers uh, and also the Axe dev tools and found that it doesn't work at all in some circumstances. So that meant a bit of a rewrite. But I, be, I believe that the results will be good. There may be some interim steps for uh, we'll find 9.1 or so, but I hope that we can get this cleaned up in uh, in WooFind 10 and uh, and won't have to break hierarchy of assets so many times later on. So the main point of what I was trying to convey here was that uh, sometimes it's good to revisit your old decisions, the old code, and just quite simply rewrite it, get rid of the old stuff and take it to another level because uh, that makes it so much easier later on. Thank you.